What's up you guys, it's Matt here. When you think of credit cards, what do you think of? You know, Amex, Chase, maybe. Those are the top two that you really think of. But then a lot of people think of Citi as well. But right now I haven't really heard too much about Citi cards, like anything that's really going on. And I wanted to talk about, is Citi really dying? Now, before I start, please hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And make sure you get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. Now, for me, I have three city cards. I have the city double cash card, I have the uh, Best Buy card, and then I also have the city rewards plus card. Now, I like all of these cards. I wouldn't say love. I like all of these cards. I love probably two of the cards. The city double cash card and then the Best Buy card are probably my two favorite cards there. Um, when it comes to the city rewards plus card, I really don't get too much more than what I get in any other card, or if I even get anything more in any other card. So I wanted to talk about City because I think about all of the, the changes that Amex is making and Chase is making, new cards, new benefits, all these things, but I hear nothing about what City's doing. And I haven't seen too much that City is actually doing in order to fit in with the crowd. And um, I think they're just really running with kind of their lower tier cards here. And it makes sense. And I know there may be people saying the City Prestige is a great card, the City Premier is a great card. I know people personally that do have those cards that actually cancel those cards because they're not offering them too much, especially during this time, so they're getting other cards. But when I think of City, I'm thinking straight to the City Double Cash card. This card is probably one of the best keeper cards that's out there. It offers 2% on everything, 1% when you buy, 1% when you pay, so it's not to where you literally have to pay off your statement and get all of your cash back then. You can get half your cash back when you buy it and half your cash back when you pay it. So it's always a great way to be able to apply that cash back directly to your statement as well. Um, and there's other options that you can do with the cash back um, when it comes to city. And when it comes to city as a whole, you do have thank you points that can be valued a little bit more, just like Chase um, or even transferring your points like Amex, things like that. Um, but it's not something that people are really getting 100% value from. You're not going to City saying, hey, you know, they have the best grocery benefits, they have the best gas benefits, they have the best redemption value. No, they don't. And from what happened in the past where they cut a lot of their benefits, a lot of their perks, a lot of protections, um, that made people say, you know what, I don't wanna go with Chase. But then again, you can't think of a third competitor here. And when it comes to credit cards, yes, you can say, you know, you have Navy Federal Credit Union, you have uh, US Bank, you have all of these other companies that are out there. Maybe you consider Capital One a great contender. Um, but when you think of you know, best credit cards or best credit card companies, you always have Amex, Chase, um, and then Citi probably. Or you, know, you can change out the two if you want. If you put Chase first, then go ahead and get Chase first. You can say Chase, Amex, and then Citi. Um, whatever your preference is. But when I look at Citi, I don't think of anything that they're offering besides this card that really gives you a ton of value, especially right now as we're going through this whole pandemic, less travel, it makes no sense to go for any real travel cards. This is why I kind of don't really think about Chase as much anymore. They do have lower tier cards that offer you a lot now that they're improving some of their benefits short term, but City has not been able to do that. Let me know what you think about City. In my opinion, I think that they're falling off here. They're kind of being swept under the rug for lack of a better term. And I don't see them as a true competitor to Amex or Chase. I just see Amex and Chase being at the top. For me, Amex is definitely at the top making serious moves right now. Um, and then Chase is also introducing new cards as well. So with all the new players that are in the game, why isn't City doing anything? Like I've said, they made some moves. They just haven't made moves that compete. So let me know what you think about City. Let me know what you think about the credit card industry. Who's on top? Do you think Chase Amex is on top? Let me know your top five. Who's actually on your list? Do you have other companies that are on your list? Are you putting the Apple card there as their own company? Let me know what you think about the credit card industry, but make sure you take some time to hit that like button on this video. It helps me out a lot. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one and make sure you get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. And if you're already subscribed, please hit that notification bell because if you get notified, you can watch my video sooner. You can hit that like button sooner. You can comment, you know, let me know what you think.
But um, that's it. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.